You are watching Sipping Off the Cuff on TequilaAficionado.com. I'm Alex Perez. Whispering Eye Tequila. Whispering Eye Tequila. If you, if you look... How does the eye whisper? Well, I don't know, but if, I think it's really... If you look at the logo, see, it's, it's W-E-E. Oh, yeah, in, oh, in yeah very cool. An eye. Um, it's a beautiful bottle. Yeah, bottle. it's frosted glass. It's got a nice uh, nice top stopper. Uh, it's it's a... Um, not a cork uh, uh, stopper, but, but that's okay. Synthetic cork is all right if you get the right ones. Uh, it looks kind of like a nice genie bottle. You know, um, I, I, we've had some controversy here, though, here at our San Antonio office, Alex, about Whispering Eyes marketing or lack thereof. They have a not safe for work Facebook page. <laughs> uh, apparently, they you should have. Be watching, their, you shouldn't be on your Facebook anyway. If you're, yeah, yeah, well, you're yeah. If you're, I know, but, you know. I, for those of you who like to, to screw around on on Facebook, uh, they 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 uh, they do have plenty of recipes. But what what was the name of that recipe that you that you caught on that? Wet and wild, wet and, and wild. everything's got wet in it. Yeah, well, wet marks the spot. Wet marks the spot. I don't know if that was a cocktail. That was I don't know what that was. I don't know. It's just really silly marketing. Um, We'll see. We'll see if, if the juice delivers. We'll see. Um, I, what we poured here were the Blancos. And as you can tell, we're using the, the specific tool, the Riedel glass that we're using for this uh, <coughs> for this tasting. And it's uh, it's pretty clear. Yeah, it's nice. It's actually kind of kind of crystalline. Yeah. I think. It's nice and I, shiny. I think so, too. It's shiny. It's shiny, you know? Got an interesting nose. It's a uh, fruity. There's a lot of fruit notes. I'm getting fruit, maybe some flowers. That's I'm getting yeah, I'm getting fruit. Um, I should I should mention the distillery on this one also. It is um, uh, wow. I'm having a hard time with this one. Gnome uh, is it third? 1835, Alex? It's 13, 1535. 1535, okay. Need new glass. It is. Oh, this is a Morales. From Arandas. From Arandas. No relation to me, by the way. Because if I had my own tequila, I would tell you. Um, no, interesting nose, Mike. I'm almost getting like a. Almost like if it was a dried fruit or something in there, which which is not possible. This is no, not um, aged, so it's some byproduct of something else. I get more of the citrus notes that I'm getting as far as fruit. I'm not getting dried fruit yet. You know, traditionally in Arandas, it's a Highlands tequila. So, I get more citrus on the nose and I'm getting any dry it is. fruit. No relationship, obviously, but more like a grapefruit. Yeah, yeah, a grapefruit. A grapefruit. I say citrus and, and, and maybe I should be more specific because it's not lemon, it's not lime, but yeah, you're right, grapefruit is right where... But you think it's a dried grapefruit, maybe? Yeah, that's why it's kind of, kind of uh, uh, deceiving to me. Is that even possible to dry a grapefruit and make it smell like? I don't think it's allowed. One percent of anything's allowed, unless. But I hear that's going to change in the gnomes also. It's got some nice, uh, just very yeah, nice legs. Mm.
It's citrusy all the way around, Alex. It's got it's got a nice structure to it. It's got something in the nose and in the pound that I cannot identify. I, I got a little bit of alcohol in it, but just at the very tail end, not a whole lot. So is this maybe uh, an herb? Are we getting are we getting any kind of mint? Are we getting kind of you know rosemary? I don't know. Not mint. I can't make it out. It's got nice structure to it. There's something else there. I, I, I like it. I like it. I'm just trying to put my finger on it. Okay. So it's a, it's a, it's a decent it's a decent blanco. Yeah, it doesn't have the the punch that we've had from from other regions in the area this evening, but that's not to say that that it's that it, that's a bad thing. I get a, a, I get some sweetness on it too. It's a, it's sweet on the entry. It is sweet. I guess it's coming from the uh, from the roasted agave. Mm -hmm. mm. I do have some longevity on the palate. Mm -hmm. mm. That's pretty good. Yeah, it's not bad. I think um, I think it'd be great in a cocktail. I think it lends itself to cocktails. If you look at their website, if you can get past all the, the gals in the wet t-shirts and, uh, you know, the, the, yeah, Wet and Wild, Wet Secret, the Wet Rita, the wet, wet, Rita. Sun, <laughs> wet Sunset, you know, they should have one called Wet Suit. I'll wet have a Wet Rita, Rita, please. I'll have a Wet Rita. Not none of that dry stuff. Not, not a dry one. one. I want a Wet, wet, wet Rita. Rita. You know, when you've had many, too many of these, you, you start wet. You start using, you know, it's not wet anymore, it's wet. But um, I, I love the presentation, Alex. Don't get me wrong. This is a beautiful presentation. Obviously, it's a substantial bottle. You know, this is, this is a substantial bottle. Um, it's going to sit on your top shelf. It's great probably underneath a bottle glorifier. It's got a nice base to it. You can see that. It kind of looks like, a, like those old whiskey shots, so it has a nice base on the bottom. Uh, frosted glass. My understanding is from uh, uh, Neil, who's one of the owners that we met, who de delivered this, our, our bottles to us directly, um, that the, their wives are also involved. It's, it's a partnership of, of a couple of people uh, here, in, here in San Antonio um, and one other gentleman and his wife. So they know each other. They've been friends for a long time. And the wives, apparently, are the ones who are responsible for all the the bottle, you know, they designed the bottle and the look, you know, it's kind of a nice perfumey, kind of a, uh, uh, a genie bottle look, you know, and it's not offensive, it, it's, I think it's very elegant, um, I'm just, I'm just not a big fan of their marketing, I, I think they need to, they need to work on that, yeah. um, you know, the, uh, sending a mixed message again, but uh, the gentleman that did deliver this to us, they, they're, they really have a, he has a love and a passion for the tequila. Um, I like it. I think we should highly recommend the Blanco. I, I, oh, I think, do, uh, I, I they recommend it. Um, I think it could be a gateway Blanco too. You're probably right. A gateway Blanco because it doesn't, it doesn't have that punch that we, we have had in some of the other, uh, uh, even, even from Arandas. Cause there, there are other, a couple of them that we've had from Arandas that are, that are much more aggressive on the on the uh, entry and this right. one's a little a little bit smoother probably on purpose that's probably you know that's probably deliberate uh but i love the bottle i think i think that as far as presentation wise brand of promise as far as uh packaging i think so yeah uh i, I, I like would go bottle. i would go there i'm looking forward to the reposado though i want to see i want to see where they're going to take this blanco so I agree. i'm mike morales here in san alex, antonio i'm alex perez and you've been watching Sipping Off the Cuff on TequilaAficionado.com. And as always, sip wisely.